What if I told you that we are all empty space? Nothing but vacuum. But you won't believe me. Well, you won't believe anyone who tells you that. Because it's so hard to imagine ourselves in that way. We think of ourselves as physically being here. But we are actually an illusion. And this is what Rutherford proved back in the early 20th century. Bas basically in his experiment what he did was he took a gold foil and he passed alpha particles through his gold foil. And basically an alpha particle is a helium nucleus. And an helium nucleus consists of two protons and two neutrons which gives it a positive charge and it also gives it mass. So when a helium nucleus was fired through uh, the gold foil he noticed that most of the particles just went through, straight through, while some of them got deflected in all random directions. And this got him thinking and he thought, well, if that has to happen, if a particle with mass has to go through a gold foil, then the gold atom has to be 99% empty. Otherwise, how will a particle with mass go through another particle with mass? So he concluded that an atom has to be empty. But in his results, he found something astounding. He saw that some of the alpha particles, they were getting deflected in random directions and some were get, even getting reflected back. So, but the proportion of these particles which were getting uh, repelled in all these different directions was so less compared to the particles which were actually just going through the foil. He concluded that the only way this thing can happen is to have a thick a uh, dense and bulky piece in the center of the gold atom. This he called the nucleus. And he said that the nucleus has to consist of protons and neutrons. And these protons are positively charged as we know. So this gives the nucleus a net positive charge. And he said that if the nucleus has a net positive charge, then only these alpha particles will be repelled. Because as we know, positive charges repel and also two negative charges repel. So that's because two same charges repel and opposite charges attract. So he said that an atom has to consist of a nucleus, a thick nucleus, like this tennis ball. And he said around this tennis ball are small electrons. You can think of them as insects just whizzing around and orbiting this bulky piece called the nucleus. And the space between this electron, these electrons and this nucleus was nothing, just empty. And if we ourselves are made of atoms, for example, our skin, our bones, our muscles, we're all made of carbon. And in our blood, we have hemoglobin and hemoglobin is made of iron. And if these are all atoms, then aren't we made of empty space? Well, this, this is something that has uh, that has got me thinking and I think it, it's very difficult to answer are we empty space or not but from the surface we don't look that we don't we don't look like we are empty space and this, this is probably because we have mass and mass is caused by some other factors like energy and things like that so isn't this fascinating I mean even though atoms are empty we still have mass and we are we are physically present and this is something that catches my attention so yeah thank you and stay curious so what do you guys think do you think we are just an illusion or are we really present well leave your comments below and i'll be happy to have any positive criticisms um, and like if you enjoy the video and subscribe thanks